Hello, thank you for joining me. I'm outside Watford Metropolitan Line Station. Ever since this station opened in 1925, there's been talk of closing it. The reason for that is because it ends here, in this housing estate, about three quarters of a mile away from Watford Town Centre. So what we're going to do in today's video, we're going to look at how an extension to Watford Junction and to serve the general area of Watford a bit better than this would work and if and when it'll ever happen and um, perhaps why it hasn't yet happened. So come with me and um, let's explore Watford's tube stations and railway stations past, present and future. So had the Metropolitan Line been extended from Watford Station where we were just then towards Watford Town Centre, one option was to bring it this way, through Cashelbury Park, through the Humphrey Repton Design Parkland. We've been here quite a few times because it's no stranger to railways, this park, but not in the size we're thinking of. There's a very good miniature railway, the Watford Miniature Railway, down at the bottom of the hill, which um, we're not going to go to today, but have a look on the linking screen now, that that shows you that video. So. One option was to effectively make Watford Met Station a through station and the line would have come this way to a station called Watford Central. The other option would have been to have closed it. Bearing in mind this was 1927, so only two years after they opened it, they would have closed it and taken the railway line on a new alignment into Watford Central. So the Metropolitan had proposed to open a station in the middle of Watford called Watford Central. Now what we're going to do, when we get into Watford Town Centre, we'll go and have a look at where that station would have been. But the problem was, if they had opened that station, then you'd have still had to have walked if you wanted to go to Watford Junction. So that's where the Croxley Rail Link comes into it. In 1912, there was a branch line opened to Croxley Green. There was already the line to Rickmansworth Church Street, which we have done in another video. They opened the branch line to Croxley Green and the last trains ran in 1996. Now when I say the last trains, it was one train a day at about six o'clock in the morning. I never had a chance to travel on it. I wish I had, but I didn't. And um, for a long time, the line was overgrown. It officially closed in 2003, but the actual last trains ran in 1996. And then a few years ago, the Croxley Rail Link, which would see Watford Station close and a new viaduct built to connect with the Croxley branch, that was given the go-ahead. But unfortunately, as things go, it was cancelled and, um, well, or put on hold, depending on your opinion. It hasn't happened yet. So they cleared all the track and everything, which we're going to go and have a look at, but there still is no... Proxy Rail Link. So if you are coming on the Metropolitan Line, you've effectively got to do this, what is quite a pleasant walk, but a long walk, through Cashew Road Park. We've just come to the main road now, and this is where the gatehouses to Cashew Road Park once stood. Uh, they were demolished when they made this road into a dual carriageway. They would have stood about here. I did cover the gatehouses in one of the videos where we went to the miniature railway at Cashew Road Park. So what I'm going to do now I'm going to go into Watford Town Centre. We're going to go, I'm going to go and show you where Watford Central Station would have been had it been built. Here we are in Watford Town Centre. Now, if the Met had ever built that Watford Central Station, it would have been somewhere here. There would have been a station there, Watford Central, Metropolitan Line. You could have jumped on there and got a train into London, but it never happened. We're going to carry on down to the end of Watford High Street to... Watford High Street Station which is open and from there we're going to find the old line to Croxley Green. So here we are at Watford High Street Station so this is the closest still open station to Watford Town Centre so if you got on the train here you go in that direction you'll go to London and one stop under the road you'll come to Watford Junction. Watford High Street itself is just over there and about a quarter of a mile that way that's where the line to Croxley Green branched off and if the Croxley Rail Link had opened would have joined. So the Metropolitan Line trains would have joined up here. They'd have stopped here at Watford High Street and then they'd have carried on to Watford Junction. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to walk beside the track bed a bit and we're going to go and find where the junction was and hopefully will still be at some point in the future.
I'm now about a quarter of a mile away from Watford High Street Station. The railway line runs behind these houses. I'm going to take you down this little bit of a dead end road because just down here I can show you where the Croxley line once um, left what are known as the DC line. So come through to here. Here we have the DC lines. Now if you look over there, you can see a, a gradient post. So it's level that way to Watford and going that way, it's going up a one in 66 gradient. Now see the bridge over there? That is the line to Croxley Green. And here would have been a big triangle. So there'd have been a track going off that way. Over there, there would have been another side of the triangle. We'll go and have a look at that in a minute. So this whole area would have been a triangle. So if and when the Croxley Rail Link opens, trains from Watford Junction, they'd call it Watford High Street, they'd go along there, they'd go under that bridge, and they'd take a big curve that way round, and then they'd continue through the former and future stations, which we're going to go and have a look at. Um, so we're now going to head off in that direction, and we're going to try and find if we can see anything left of the other side of this triangle. Well now I'm standing just south of the triangle I mentioned. You can see behind me that is a railway embankment. That was the southern cord of the triangle. So that would have enabled trains from London to go straight across to Croxley Green and in earlier days Ritmersworth Church Street without the need to go to Watford Junction. Now if we walk across the road here and complete with train on the DC line. So you can see where the DC lines are. There possibly was a bridge here. There's a lot of road improvements being put in. But it would have gone along there. They've demolished the embankment beyond here. But that would have been the southern cord of the triangle. Somewhere here, where all this business park has sprung up, there would have been the Croxley EMU depot. So there was a big depot for housing EMUs. I'm going to walk on up there, where we get to a point where we can see the other side of the triangle, what would have formed the Croxley rail link side of the triangle. So... As we come onto this new road, which has recently opened, you can see up there, there's a bridge. That takes the traffic over what will become the Croxley Rail Link. So I'm going to walk up there, and when we get up there, hopefully we'll get a better view of um, the track bed that will become the Croxley Rail Link. So here we are at the apex of the triangle. So if you look that way, the embankment would have come along there. We were just down there a moment ago. The embankment would have come to about there, join the trap bed there, that way goes up to the junction where we were a few moments ago. So this is where the trains will run on the Croxley Rail Link if and when it ever happens. Here's the modern bridge. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to take you over the bridge and uh, we'll see what we can see. So it had been along here where there had been this big EMU depot. Have a look down there, you can see the trap bed waiting for the track relaying and the trains to return. Now over there is Watford General Hospital. We'll get onto the stations in a minute, but one of the su suggestions for a name of a station was to call the station after Watford General Hospital. But um, when it was sort of looking quite likely like this line was going to happen, it wasn't actually going to be called Watford General Hospital. But we'll, we'll talk about that in a moment. Here we have the trap bed here. Now just over there, that's where the line to Rickmansworth Church Street would have been. So there'd have been, after this triangle, another junction there. You'd have had the EMU depot here. So it could have gone that way to Rickmansworth Church Street. We're going to follow the line that way around towards Croxley. Well, there we have an abandoned Watford Stadium station. We're now on the Croxley Green branch, the branch that opened in 1912 and the last trains ran in 1996. So that would have been Watford Stadium Station on this very narrow road, which is called Watford Vicarage Road, the name of Watford Stadium. Now, if we go across the road here, what I'm going to show you is this site here. 
track still there. That is where they planned to build Watford Vicarage Road Station. So that would have served the Watford Stadium. There'd have been two tracks. The whole branch would have become double track line, and you'd have got off a train here, and you could have it served this area of Watford and of course the stadium. Now the bridge up there. I don't suppose the camera's picking out, but I can just see the lamps of Watford West Station. So Watford West was this side of the next bridge. So it gives you an idea just how close Watford Stadium and Watford West Stations were. So the plan was Watford Vicarage Road was to replace both of them. They, they had talked about calling it Watford General Hospital. Now if it had been Watford General Hospital, I'm not sure if it would have been here or if it had maybe been further around the corner that way. Um, but the last, when it was going to open, the last thing it was going to be called was Watford Vicarage Road. And um, this very narrow road, this is Watford Vicarage Road and the stadium's nearby. I'm going to continue, I'm going to have to walk, climb my way around to the next bridge and hopefully from there we'll get a better view of the former Watford West station. Here we are at the entrance to Watford West station. It's here on a road called Tolpits Lane. So to get onto the station you'd have come along, gone through here and down some steps to the platforms which if we come along here there'd have been a ticket office here where this forecourt is this would have been the ticket office we come along here you look down there you just about see the railway track i'll show you the platform in a moment there's the bridge we'll go around to that bridge so you can get a view of the station itself so this also the last train ran in 1996 officially closed in 2003 you look down there it survives in a similar way to watford stadium you can see the platforms are still there, the lamps are still there in the network southeast red, all but very faded. The platform is there and it's just all very overgrown. But a few years ago they cleared all this and it really looked, you know, like a station with rusty track and no trains again. But as I said, it hasn't ever happened that they've opened it, reopened it. Um, up there is the bridge where on the other side is Watford Stadium. So if they'd opened this Watford Vicarage Road, it'd have been in this land between. I'm not sure if there'd have been another entrance here. They've been very useful, really, because they could have had an entrance at each end. There'd have been two tracks, and there'd have been two platforms. There's plenty of room for two tracks and two platforms, but as I said, it hasn't happened yet. What I'm going to do now is just going to walk over the bridge, and I'll let you see the view. There you go. Get a better view of the, of the track and looking towards Watford. Well, if I can get across the road, that's going to be easier said than done. I'm going to cross Tolpins Lane, and I'll show you the view looking towards Crockley. So bear with me a moment. It's always whenever you want to cross a road, every car in Watford seems to be coming along, looking both directions. So it's quite busy. Um, but we'll, we'll get across and I'll show you where the track carries on and where the next station would have been. So we go across the road here. Now, if you look down there, you can just see the railway track looking towards where the next station would have been. It was going to be called Casio Bridge. We'll go down there now and we'll go to the site and we'll see where that station was and we're also going to go and find the old terminus at Crotchley Green. So on we go. I've now come down to the bridge over Ascot Road and just here where this construction site is, on the embankment there, that was where the planned Casio Bridge Station would have been built. At one point it was going to be called Ascot Road, after the road we're on now, but then they decided that Ascot Road could con cause confusion with Ascot Station in Berkshire, and I believe it's Transport for London's policy not to name stations after a specific road because it doesn't generally reflect the area. Although that said, they were going to call the next station Vicarage Road, but it was said because Vicarage Road is so well known as Watford Stadium, so that's why that was to be called Vicarage Road. This was to be called Casio Bridge. So there'd have probably been maybe steps up on each side, there'd have been ticket offices, ticket barriers, each side of, of the embankment. I'm not sure exactly how it not sure exactly how it would have been, but that was the plan. So then the embankment has been breached there. They've put a road through to a business park. So unfortunately that section of embankment we can no longer access. There's a rather interesting little building here. I believe it's part of the Sun Printers. There used to be a printing factory around here. And it's um, almost like they're 
show building, but I don't know too much about it. So anyone who does know wants to comment and tell me. Um, where is it? There we are. Yeah, please, please do tell me. I'd love to know more about it. It's quite a fascinating little building. So my plan now, I'm going to take you around here. I'll show you where the track bed would have gone when it went to Croxley. Now, the other thing that would of course happen here is to join it to the Metropolitan Line. So where the embankment ends, I think the new line would have come off there and it would have gone straight across over there. I'll show you more of that in a moment because the actual Croxley Green station was slightly off where, you know, it would have been out of line. So they never planned to open that because it would have been replaced with this one, Cassio Bridge. So we just got across this road here. So this is a modern road they've put through since the railway line closed. As you can see, it's cut through the embankment, but the new line would have come off, probably crossed here somewhere. Got to get across the road. And um, gone straight over to join the existing Metropolitan Line. Now, the other interesting thing that comes up is what would they do with Watford Met Station, what the station we started at, if the Croxley Rail Links ever be, was ever built? Because most people, or most of the you know, impressions I get are that it would have closed. But people in the area, who live especially in the Casterbury Park area of Watford, wanted to see the station remain open, which I fully understand, because they would have been the ones who would have lost out. They would have been the ones who would have either have had to have walked all the way down here or walked into Watford Town Centre to get their trains into London. So one option was keep Watford Met Station open and perhaps, say, have a train every 20 minutes and have a, all the other trains going here, or maybe a train every half an hour. It has certainly had less of a service, but less of a service you know, is better than no service. There was also talk of it possibly being retained purely for sidings so they could have stabled the underground trains in there at night. Um, that was another option. I don't know what would have happened if it ceased to become a station altogether. Well, there's two things that would have been made redundant. As we come along here, we're just coming up. This hump here will take us over the Grand Union Canal. Now have a look over there. You may just be able to see the viaduct of the Metropolitan Line into Watford. Had all the track closed and that been lifted, that would have been made redundant. So one obvious thing I think would have been to have kept it and made it into a public footpath. You can just see it over there now. Um, so that is the viaduct into Watford Met Station that possibly could have become redundant. Now talking of redundant viaducts, we have another bridge over there. That is the bridge on the Croxley branch, the Croxley Green branch that took it over the canal. That would also be redundant. The new bridge would have come across here somewhere, right across here, and there's a roundabout just down there. It would have crossed just before the roundabout, and it would have joined the Metropolitan Line up there. Now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go this way, down onto the canal, because although I want to show you where it would have joined the Metropolitan Line, I want us to have a closer look at where Croxley Green Station would have been. So we come down here, this is the Grand Union Canal. Um, quite pleasant along here. So somewhere above us now, there potentially will be a bridge carrying the Croxley Rail Link and Metropolitan S stock trains will be, you know, making that sort of, they'll be passing over us on trains from Watford Junction up to Baker Street. What will be interesting is, um, to see who could get to London first. If you say went from Watford Junction to say Baker Street via the Met or also went into London Euston, see who could get to a certain landmark in London would be uh, an interesting experiment. I, I don't know really which one would be quicker. I expect if you got on a Pendolino stopping at Watford, but that would be the quickest way. But um, yeah, not sure on that one. Come to here, this is the Bird K Bridge that carried the line into Croxley Green. So it's a very substantial bridge for the fact it only ever carried, well, in its latter life, one train a day, now no trains at all. Now let's just have a look. If things are how they used to be, go around here, you used to be able to get up onto the track bed. I'm not sure if we can. All of the rest of the track bed that was going to reopen was fenced off. Um, 
this one until a few years ago yeah they fenced it off so i can't show you the site the station but you used to be able to go up there and um walk along the track bed so um we're not going to do that today what i'm going to do now i've shown you where you know used to go in, in the 90s a lot of people ooh, just got stung by steam nettles i've now got a hand that hurts a lot of people did in the 90s and noughties go up there you could never get onto this bridge but you used to be able to get into the site of Croxley Green Station. I really don't know what's going to happen though. Whether this bridge will stay here forever. I think it'd be nice if they kind of refurbished it and made it into like a linear park. They could cut all the trees down. And, um, you know, a bit like they talk about having these high lines. They've got them in New York and there's talk of having one in London. Why not have one here in Watford? Oh, and if you look over there, there's a Metropolitan Line train on the, um, the section track that would have closed had the Croxley Rail Link ever happened. And... Like I said, I hope it happens. It'd be nice if they could retain that bit of track. But as for this, I don't think there's really much hope of ever seeing a train go over that bird's cage bridge again. Um, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go back to the road. We'll go to where the entrance of um, Croxley Green Station was so I can show you where it ended. It kind of ended a bit abruptly, um, sort of in the middle of nowhere. Well, not in the middle of nowhere, but it just seems a fairly illogical place to end it. The village of Croxley Green is further up the hill, but that was served by the Metropolitan Lines station, which um, was called Croxley, because um, they had already taken the name Croxley Green with this one. So that's why up there, there was no station. The, the Metropolitan Lines station isn't called Croxley Green, although it's actually in Croxley Green. It's all very confusing this area around Watford. So we're coming to here. The viaduct would have gone across here and then joined the Metropolitan Lines Watford branch just up there. So I have just one last thing to show you. I want to show you the entrance to Croxley Green Station. And for a long, long time, same at Watford West, the station sign was there. It still said Croxley Green, even though, and there was the British Rail Double Arrows, even though you could not get on the train there. So, um, but finally, it's kind of come to a fairly anonymous existence. It's just an embankment. The platforms have all gone because I have been up there a few years ago when it seemed every you'd go up there and you'd bump into other people. And everyone was going up there. I don't think you were really supposed to, but people did. Um, and this was the entrance just here. So you can see they fenced this one off as well. But you used to... Had it been like it was a few years ago, we could have walked along, we'd have come out down here, but i um, not really sure why, but it's fenced off. No talk of this ever reopening. But just here, and look, there, the steps are still there. Those steps, and there's even a lamppost in Network South East Red. You'd have gone up those steps up to Croxley Green Station. So from where the Croxley Rail Link may one day cross a roundabout, Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please do feel free to like, subscribe, comment, tell your friends. And maybe one day I'll be back here making a video when it's all been built and we'll go and ride the Croxley Rail Link. But for the time being, the closest you're going to get by the Metropolitan Line is Watford Met Station near Castlereagh Park. Thanks very much for watching. Goodbye.